What's up guys, this is Chris Albert. Um, one of the exercises that's super beneficial that nobody likes to do is the front squat. And I see a lot of different variations of it. I see people doing it with the crossed arms version. Some people actually venture to do it with the Olympic version. I like the Olympic version better and I'm gonna show you why. First things first, if I do a crossed arm version, I want you to take a look at my back as I'm doing that. So if I come in here and use this crossed arm version, my back's not really supporting anything. I'm coming down, and my elbows are almost automatically coming down as I go do this. So I'm not really using any core strength. I've got to just keep this up on my shoulders. The Olympic version, I'm supporting it much better with my core, with my lats, um, with everything back here, my whole chest. So you see how this activates when I come underneath. So I'm grabbing it with a really wide grip, and I'll show you guys how to get in the rack position in a second. Come under here, under here, drive it up, elbows are nice and high. Notice how I kept my elbows nice and high during that. That's really forcing what they call thoracic extension. Forcing them to go like this. Every athletic position comes from this. Pushing up, using the lats, using the core. That's what this is going to help you with, and that's why I recommend this version. Now, some of you are not going to have the wrist flexibility to do this, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Now, a lot of you think that you don't have the flexibility or the wrist flexibility to get into this, and yes, it's going to take a lot of work to get into that Olympic rack position. Um, I have another video with different stretches that you can use to loosen up your lats and loosen up your wrists, but I want to show you how I get into the position. This is a lot easier than a lot of people do. A lot of people will come in, they'll keep a really narrow grip, and they'll come under here, and you really need a lot of flexibility to do this. But if you come in wider, a little bit wider here, and you come on one, two, there's not much flexibility required here. Just getting a little bit of external rotation with the shoulder. So again, keeping this up. And notice that's nice and strong. My elbows aren't moving up and down or anything like that. So coming a little bit wider, hold it there. One, two, and you come up with a good front rack position. It's Chris Albert. Hit me up with any questions at gamingshitted at gmail.com.